Hey guys, Brepa99 here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to mine Ethereum, uh, which is a something that's become very popular recently and has made the uh, graphics card market uh, become extremely inflated. And that's why you'll see like a GTX 1060 selling for like $400 now because Ethereum mining is so profitable and it's become so popular that everybody's doing it. So what you're going to want to do is download all of these from the websites, which I'll have linked in the description. And so once you have them downloaded, move them all into like one central folder and name it whatever you want. Um, I personally named mine Eth, and you can put it wherever you want it, um, Eth for Ethereum, and I just put it in my program files. And so with the Eth miner here, what you're going to want to do is go to this website and it's just tagged F minor. So you're going to want to look for the newest one that's out and you want the gen oil, this one, gen oil, and you're going to want the newest release. For me, it's 1.16, 1.1.6. Uh, and you just got to want to do the most recent one. Otherwise it won't work and you'll have problems, but you want the gen oil. You'll download this. I already have it downloaded, but you know, you'll click there to download it. Um, and then, so once you have them all in one folder, make sure first that you remove them out from their zip files. And then what you're going to want to do is open up, um, CMD, your command prompt, and you're going to type in CD which means you're going to um, that drive. And then for me personally, I put it on my C drive here and then the F folder. But for me, it's not actually there because <laughs> for me, it's in program files. So I would just go ahead and copy paste what you have right there. So now I'm in F. <laughs> And now I want to type geth account new. And once you do that, you'll get prompted to have a new password. But I personally have already done this, so I'm not going to do this. But that's what you would do. You put in a password, and uh, you won't be able to see the password. So if you're just typing something that looks like nothing's popping up, that's why. Next thing you're going to want to do once you're done with that is open up your um your wallet which should be called something like Ethereum wallet and inside of there you're going to want to open up the .exe and just let it run so what it's going to do is it's going to sync to the Ethereum blockchain which is about like a 30 gigabyte download so it's going to take probably forever i just left it going overnight and uh that it worked but just letting you know it's going to take a while to sync up, but this will tell you like exactly how much money you've made and everything like that. So once you have that all synced up and downloaded, which will take a long time, you'll want to go into your F miner, which by the way, I just renamed this wallet because uh, I thought it was easier than whatever it was initially called. Then you want to go into your gen oil F miner and you're going to want to make a new batch file. So to do this, you're going to want to make a new text document, which I already have one in there. Let me just delete this text document. But anyway, you make a new text document. You click on it. So I'll have all this stuff in the description right here. All of this will be in the description. And you're just going to want to paste it in to here, except with one exception being Right here is my wallet address. You're going to want to paste in your own wallet address, which should be in your Ethereum wallet as soon as you open that. Like right here, that's my wallet address. So as you can see, I just pasted it right in there. So now that you have that in there, you can just go ahead and save this as, and now you name it, whatever you want. You know, you can like have it. Like, I personally named mine as start.bat, but you can name it like, I don't know, go.bat. 
and then make sure you change this from text document to all files. So it becomes a batch file. And now that it's a batch file, whenever you run this, it'll start your miner. So if we just click this here, you can see it's booting up my miner right now. Okay, now as you can see, it's working. I'm mining right now. And uh, if you want to be able to, I'm going to turn this off because it's, it's making my computer really slow. But if you want to be able to check your balance, you'll go to ethermine.org and you'll type in your mining address right here. So I'm going to put mine in, search, and you can see this is my current hash rate because I just turned it off. Um, and this is my unpaid balance, which as you can see, I've not been mining for very long because I was accidentally mining Ethereum Classic. Um, and yeah, so now you can exactly see how much you have. And then as soon as they actually, as soon as Ethermine actually pays you, it'll show up in your Ethereum wallet. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. Hopefully you enjoyed. And uh, I hope your mining goes great. Thanks for watching. Bye.